Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the DX Rube Crystal Set 05 from Ultraman Rube. As you can see here we have Ginga Victory, Belial, Saga, and then the Kaiju Guru... I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher this so I apologize ahead of time. Gurujio King? Yes. I think it's cool that I honestly forgot about the first monster from like the first episode was the red version of Gurujio. And now he like digivolved and he has a giant gun on his back. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> so I think that's really fun. No idea what kind of sounds these will make uh, in the Rube Gyro, but of course we will check that out. And they are pointing out that Belial is one half of the two crystals that go together to form the uh, Kiwami crystal. Every time I see I say Kiwami, I want to say Kiwami Loxied because of uh, Gaim. But this is the Kiwami crystal so i'll have to train myself not to say loxied every time so bear with me but anyway taking a look on the back it just shows you how you can pop them all into the rube gyro as well as the rube sluggers which of course we'll also take a look at and uh yeah that's pretty much it i don't know why they they have so much focus on the kiwami crystal here uh on the show he has the normal ultraman crystal and the belial crystal and that's what goes together to form the Kiwami one. So it's definitely half of the mixture, but like, I don't know if the sounds will dictate that. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. But let's go ahead and get these guys out of the packaging here and we'll take a closer look. All right, so taking a look at these four crystals. First up, we have Ginga Victory. I like this one quite a bit. I like how it's half red, half blue to show the fusion of two different Ultramen. And then of course you have the pieces that come out for Rosso. And then, of course, for... Whoops, that's the wrong one. There we go. There's the blue one in the middle. Next up, we have Saga. I like the design of this guy. I've always thought he looks pretty cool. He has got clear white pieces. So there's the Rosso. There's blue. Next up, we have Belial. Another one of my favorites. I've just always really liked his design. His eyes kind of remind me of, like, Venom from Marvel Comics. So I've always liked Belial. He's got purple things on the side there. And then pop out the blue piece in the back. And then last but not least, we have Gurujio King, which I think is a pretty cool design. I like this guy quite a bit. He's got the orange crystal pieces. And then there's the blue one. So pretty cool. Let's go ahead and hear some sounds. Um, let's see. We'll start with Ginga Victory. So you get some pretty cool fanfare music there, but not too much else. So the special attack music is really the same as the transformation music. Unfortunately, with these ones that uh don't have like a special form or anything we're gonna get the same sounds for rosso and blue So again, just to prove my point, not terribly exciting. And again, not to harp on it, <laughs> but this has always been the downfall of these crystals. If it's not one of the like five ones they use in the show, you just get the name and one sound and that's it. No matter what configuration you use, special attack, regular sound, it makes no difference. Next up, we'll do Gurujio King. I do love the standby music for the monsters. So 
So you get some cool monster sounds there, not too bad. So again, same monster sounds. All right, next up we'll do Saga. We'll try the blue configuration on this one. So some neat sounds there. Not really, I can't tell if that's like a transformation sound or an attack sound. It almost sounds like a monster. Yeah, on second listen, I guess that's like a transformation sound. Pretty neat, but that's all there is. All right, next up we have Belial, so maybe we'll get something neat out of Belial. Usually, like, one out of the set of four does something exciting. Okay, I'm not quite sure exactly what he said there. Now see, he actually did get different sounds. So that's cool. Let's see what happens with the blue configuration. So it sounds like the sounds are same for Rosso and Blue, but at least you get two different sounds. And my guess is because that has something to do with him being one of the two crystals required to form the Kiwami crystal. But still very cool. I mean, Belial's obviously a fan favorite character. I think he's a really cool Ultraman. Um, and it's awesome to have a crystal of him. And I still really like uh, Ginga Victory, even though his sounds aren't really that exciting. And really, Saga's pretty cool too. So I would say aesthetically, all of these crystals are really cool. Definitely get the most sounds with Belial. Uh, even this one's cool, this little kaiju guy. So I like them. I think they're fun. Again, you guys know my feelings on there definitely should be more sounds in this thing. That's just an oversight that I feel like they could have put some more pins in if that's what they needed or whatever the case. But... I don't know. I just feel like they could have put more sounds in the thing. Otherwise, the crystals themselves are neat. But anyway, I'll go ahead and check the Rube Slugger and see if we get anything exciting. So yeah, there's no new sounds in the Rube Slugger. Every single one of these just says Rube Slugger Attack, which is the generic sound for any of the ones it doesn't recognize. Here's the thing. You guys know my feelings on this, so I'm not going to harp on it. I think it's a fun set. The nice thing about these are usually about $10 or less before shipping, so they're really not that expensive to collect. I think the physical crystals themselves are very neat. You get a really nice selection of characters in this one. I love Ginga Victory, love Saga, love Belial, and even uh, Gurujio King is pretty neat as well. So they're great looking crystals. The colors are fun. The sounds you get are fine. Some of them are cool. They're just, in my opinion, not enough. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.